In the toolbar, you'll notice that there is a place to make a numbered list and a bulleted list. So I'm going to go ahead and push Enter, and I'm going to choose to have a numbered list. So this is my first item, and I push Enter, and I get my second item, Enter, my third item. Now if I have more things to say about the third item, and I want it to go on that line below it, but I don't want it to be the fourth item, then what you want to do is hold down the Shift key. Hold down the Shift key. So when I hold down the Shift key, you'll notice it is indented like it's part of item number three. This is part of item number three. I'm going to hold down the Shift key again, Shift key, and I'm going to push Enter as I hold down the Shift key, and this is still part of item number three. Now I'm going to push Enter without the Shift key. Enter, and you'll notice I'm now back to number four. So this allows me to get numbering systems and still maintain things grouped together within the numbering. Here is my fourth item. Now I'm going to push Enter two times, and you'll notice it returns me back away from the numbering list. So then I can do bulleted items. I'm going to go to the toolbar, and you'll notice the bullets icon, so I can go ahead and click on that. This is my first bulleted item. This is my second bulleted item. And again, I can hold down the Shift key, hold down the Shift key, hold down the Shift key, and then push Enter. No Shift key, just push Enter, and I'm back in my bulleted list. I'm going to go back up to my numbered list. Now if I push Enter after the first item, I'm able to insert another line item. And it says number two, but if I did not want that to be number two, I'm going to hit the tab key. I pressed the tab key, and what that did for me was inserted a sub item. I'm going to push enter. This is my second sub item. Enter. I'm going to tab in some more and make it more delineated. So now I've got it tabbed in and I want to get back to my original list. How do I do that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Shift key and push the Tab button. So I'm going to Shift Tab. Shift Tab takes me back to the C, and Shift Tab is going to take me back to the second item. Now I can add a new item. I used Shift plus tab. The same is true with my bulleted items. So if I push enter and tab, I'm in a sub bullet, enter, another one, enter, and I'm going to push tab. Tab gives me a new bullet indented. And I'll do shift tab puts me back. Shift tab again puts me back.